All right, today we're going to talk about the Olympic Games. You've done your research, looking up the different events, and we'll all share those together as we proceed. Uh, first of all, I want to give you uh, a little bit of background concerning the opening ceremony. Uh, the opening ceremony of the ancient Olympic Games uh, involved a relay race in which a group of runners carrying lighted torches ran from the altar of one god to the altar of another one. So they're lighting this, this altar and then running to the next one, lighting that one. The first runner to complete that course and get to the altar of Zeus, the god to whom the games were dedicated, was given the privilege of lighting that last torch, that la or that last altar. Uh, and we have continued that tradition in some ways in our modern of the games. If you've ever watched the things, the uh, festivities leading up to the Olympic Games, you have seen maybe people running with torches through different countries until finally, you know, it gets to the country where the games are being held. And as it comes to that last leg, uh, the actual lighting of the the torch of that Olympic Games, uh, usually someone is given the honor of doing that who is very important or a famous athlete maybe or someone connected with the games. Uh, uh, I remember one time Muhammad Ali was the one that was lighting it uh, and because he had been a famous boxer and was an Olympic boxer as well. Uh, so we've continued that. Now one thing we haven't continued that they also did at the opening ceremony was slaughtering a pig as a sacrifice. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid that a lot of people will probably be upset if we did that. Uh, but that's what they uh, did as uh, a part of the beginning of the games. And uh, as they made that sacrifice, then the athletes had to swear that they had been training hard for 10 months. They want no slackers in the Olympic Games. All right, so let's look through some of the different events. I won't necessarily be in the same order that you have and find out what uh, you found concerning these. All right, so first of all, what's this? The discus. discus. All right, what you find out about the discus? Bill? They throw a clay disc. All right. Is that back then it was clay? Is that what you're saying? What is it today? No, it was, it was actually a stone. stone. A stone. All right, we're talking about the ancient look because we want to find out. So sometimes it was a stone that they used. What else did you learn about the discus? Lexi, is your hand up? Do you have something? Um, well, I it was originally a stone. Speak up, please. It was originally a stone, and then later, um, okay, so let it change to iron, lead, or bronze. Um, Riley? It varied in weight. Yeah, so it kind of was made out of probably it varied in weight. So not like today where we have a standard weight. Well, anything else about the discus? Yes. It kind of like grew in that because it's like grew Oh, okay. Grooves. Did they, any of you ever thrown a discus? All right, did it have grooves in it today? It's pretty smooth all the way around, right? Now, one interesting thing uh, about the, the throwing of the discus as it relates to the modern games, the modern Olympic Games started up in 18, I think it's 96, 94, 96. Well, some of the things that were in the Olympic Games hadn't been done in modern times. And so when they came to the, the discus, uh, they didn't really know how to do it, except to look at pictures like this or look at a sculpture with somebody had done of a discus thrower. And so they looked at that and said, well, I guess you're supposed to kind of twist around and then throw it. Uh, and so they kind of experimented with that at first to see how to do it. And, and other comments about the discus? All right, next we have uh, boxing. And uh, I think I need, I need to, uh, I have another slide later that I want to put back here because I think it belongs there. Let's see if I can do that quickly. Okay, 
here we are, back to uh, boxing. All right, what'd you find out about boxing? Jake? They wrap their hands in like soft leather strips. Yeah, you can see the picture here hanging. And you might find uh, what those are called. Camontes. Say that again. Camontes. Yeah. And uh, so you can see them hanging here and wrapped around the wrists here. All right. What else did you find? Robbie? There was no duration, like set duration of that matches. Yeah, so you fought till what? The other person quit. Yeah. So you fought till somebody wouldn't go on anymore. Now, that's quite different than our boxing today, right? In fact, in the Olympics, uh, the, the rounds are shorter than they are in professional boxing. Uh, does anybody know how long the rounds are in amateur boxing or Olympics? I think they're three minutes, but I'm not positive about that. That, makes sense. that seems right. Uh, okay, what else, Caden? No, they didn't follow the rules. They what rules? They were limited. Pardon me? They didn't follow the rules and they were limited. What, what rules didn't they follow? They followed their rules, didn't they? No, but like they didn't do it like right they got wounded. Say that. What, what, what didn't they do? They got wounded. They got wounded? Mm -hmm. uh, how is that not following the rules? You're saying they didn't follow the rules we did? No, they said back then when like, the person was like, done, they would just keep punching them. They didn't like, follow that rule. Oh, okay. So, well, I don't think they had a rule. I think they, they could keep hitting the guy as long as they. The guy was even on the ground. Uh, they could keep punching him. It was more like cage fighting that we have today than, than what we have as boxing. Uh, what else? I have a question. Yeah. Did they fight to the death sometimes? I, I, it's possible if somebody didn't give and they w wouldn't give up, they could uh, die. How did the Yeah. So you there was no there were no weight classes. You either a boy or you're a man. Essentially, that's how they determine who you fight against. All right, so you can see some, and some of this is the the wrestling part of it that uh, you would be involved in. Here's, uh, and as it's called the Pankratian, Pankratian, uh, and here's uh, the wrestling was a part of it too. Uh, you are not allowed to bite, and you are not allowed to gouge somebody's eyes. Other than that, you can pretty much. You know, you can do a lot of things. Uh, uh, you also uh, could not grab the other person's genitals. Uh, so that's good. Uh, but you, if they were, you, you, they, you could kick them in the stomach if you wanted to. So it was, um, I think, a lot like our modern cage fighting more than it is our modern boxing. Any other comments or questions about uh, boxing or the Hank Ration? Okay, the next one is uh, something that you may be familiar with, the pentathlon. How many events are in the pentathlon? Five. Penta means five, and it says right here, too. Five event combination, discus, javelin, jumping, running, and wrestling. All right, so let's uh, look at each of those individually. We've already talked about discus. Here's another picture of that. Um, here's the javelin. You can see he's holding a javelin. What did you find out about javelin? Right. The javelin itself is made of gold and it's longer than the ring. And then the gun is a target. You shall have a All right, so it was made of wood, as tall as a man, and they would throw it at a target and while they're on horseback. And that's different than what we do today, right? Mm -hmm. Where we just throw, see how far we can throw it. We don't have to hit a target. Mm -hmm. What else? Well, a spear would be. Oh, what's the difference between a spear and a javelin? What? Yes. So I have a tip on it that's not wood, but the the, the pole itself is made out of wood. Javelin's illegal in Ohio now. Really? Yeah. Because some rat died. Got huh. that. We still did it that's a big one. Because we did it some weeks. Yeah, we did it. Oh, you're, you're, so you're in Ohio, if you're an Ohio team going over to Pennsylvania. Good. Yeah. So is there somebody on our team who throws javelin? Um, no, there's just me that you go to like a little You just saw it being done. And no, we, we got this, I think someone did it. I did it. I got in fifth place in it. Yeah. I was fine. No, there's like 
Jay. Jay. <laughs> Are you out there doing it? No. <laughs> You're out there on the track team? No. Train hard? No, don't walk somebody who is. <laughs> Uh, my, I have my uh, one of my best friends in college was on the track team, and he was in the field events, javelin, shot put, that kind of stuff. And there was uh, one meet at which he was retrieving the javelins after they're thrown, and he was out there with his back to the javelin thrower, and the wind caught it, and it hit him in his back, that far away from his spine. Oh. Could have paralyzed him. Could have killed him. But thankfully, thank the Lord, it didn't. Uh, but he was like for a while. Imagine the javelin hitting you. All right, the next one. Anything else about javelin? You got that? Okay, and this is jumping. You can see they're jumping over a stick, I guess. Anybody find anything about jumping? What's that? They use javelin and weights and pace the distance of the game. So they would hold the weights and yeah, throw it like throw it. Throw themselves? Huh, okay, I never heard that. There was always flute music playing. Flute music playing? <laughs> <laughs> How would that help you jump? I don't know. It makes you feel lighter. The fairies playing flute music are going to help me jump higher. I don't know. What else? Instead of running and jumping like today, you're just standing like that. Yeah. So that's probably why the weights were so helpful, I suppose. Uh, I was going to, never mind. I think I was going to see. Okay, and uh, there's wrestling. Any comments on wrestling? Find anything about that specifically? We've already kind of covered it with the uh, boxing. It was valued as like a military exercise. Yeah, and it would be, right? Because you might use that in combat. <clears throat> Okay, next is the equestrian events, which means what? Horses. Horses, right. What did you find out about the equestrian events? Luke, do you have anything there? Um, but all of them really rich could afford to do it. Yeah, because you got to have you gotta have to be able to buy a horse and uh, breed horses, so on. It'd be like uh, the Kentucky Derby today. You don't find some farmer. From Kansas coming in with his plow horse entering the Kentucky Derby, right? It's only people who are rich who have these horses and breed them and, and so on. Okay, what else? So it was the most chariot races were the most dangerous of the game. All right, so in addition to riding horses like this, there were chariot races. And why were they so dangerous? Because they could like turn and fly off. Yeah, if, the, if you're going at, you know, Top speed with horses, and the chariot turns over, uh, that could kill you. Yeah, and they didn't have, as far as I know, any rules about chariots bumping into each other, things like that. So you could kind of take out the competition a little bit. How many of you have ever seen the movie Ben Hur? Uh, there's, there's one of the, I guess, the most famous scenes is the chariot race, and in that, uh, one of the guys who is rather unscrupulous, has uh, spikes sticking out from his chariot wheel that would go into the chariot wheels of his competitors and chew them up and things like that. The, there's this thing at Oklahoma that happened this year, and they had a stagecoach, and they were brought out on the field with horses after touchdown, mm -hmm. and it tipped over. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I saw that. Lexi? Um, it took place in the... Uh, Hippodrome, because hippo means what? No. What's hippo? Have we ever talked about hippo? No, we didn't. What? No? What's a hippo? What's a hippopotamus? What's it mean? What's potamus? As in Mesopotamia. Pot Potama, what is that? That's meso. Potamia. Between what? Rivers. Potam is river or potamia. So hippopotamus is something about a river. 
something. It's literal, literally river horse. Hippo means horse. Hippodrome is where you race horses. All right. What, what else do you find about chariot racing? <clears throat> something else? Brandon? Well, well, for horses, you know, the jockeys would ride it, but the owners would become the victor. Yeah, so the owner was considered the victor. <clears throat> Did you find out what happened if a guy fell off his horse? Mm -hmm. off stand, stand, stand. Well, that would be true. <laughs> what? what? No, if the horse still keeps going, the horse can win. Because <laughs> it's the horse that matters, not the jockey. <laughs> Anything else about chariot races? Mm -hmm. Anybody find out how many horses oh. were in a chariot? There's either four, two, or a horse with a ride. Single yeah, horse. so horse with a rider would be this. Chariots would either have four horses or two horses. Uh, this one shows four. I'm not sure how many we have here. I want to see part of it. And then in addition, they had a race of uh, um, two mules pulling the cart. Which you wouldn't think would be that exciting. Oh, yeah. All right. Anything else about uh, chariots? Uh, the the distance they went was 12 laps around the stadium track, which was the the equivalent of nine miles. So this is not just a short race. All right. Next we have running. What you find out about running? Aiden. They ran naked and barefoot. Yeah. So, <laughs> nothing to slow them down. What else, Joel? Uh, they ran one, which was a, a stayed, and it was 200 meters, and then they ran a DR. Well, let's, let's stop right there. Well, the one stayed would be the equivalent of what in our? About 200 meter race, which is what? Uh, 12. Is that once around? Or no, that's twice. Like half. That's twice. It's or that's half a round. That's right, half a round. 400 is once around. Okay. Yeah, so it would be about halfway. So it would be longer than a 100 yard dash, a little bit longer. So it would be the sprint. Okay, what's the next one, Joel? Uh, the Allos. And it was two states, which would be 400 meters. Okay, close to 400 meters. And then they had a Demetrius, which was 7 to 24 states. Yeah, so that's a pretty wide range, but that's anywhere from about 1,400 meters to 4,600 meters. So uh, that's a long distance. Uh, very from place to place. Okay, anything else about running? Okay. Mine's there is the oldest Olympic sport. Always what? The oldest Olympic sport. It's the oldest, yeah, because everybody runs, right? When you were a kid, you had races probably. Just, yeah, I'll race you. All right, I think that, is that all of them? Anything we didn't cover? All right, so uh, interesting to, to see how our modern Olympics, we've expanded a lot more sports today. <clears throat> but we've kept some of the basics here. We've kept most of it, just not the biting and gouging part of it. So uh, it, it's uh, pretty good. And uh, athletic competitions have, have been around for a long time. All right, so with that, with the Olympics now behind us, I want you to uh, complete for tomorrow the reading of pages 53 to 56 and do the section review on page 56 in complete sentences. So only a couple pages of reading and then do the questions in complete sentences. <laughs> yeah, you know, when, when I say read in notes, that means story notes that you're reading. Now it may or may not it may or may not be things we've talked about in class. So if it's stuff we've already talked about and there's nothing to pull in, then you disregard it. But if there are things in there, I don't necessarily talk about everything in your book. So if there are things in your book that we haven't talked about, then you can go ahead and just